हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द ऑप्टिमाइज आई एस अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ संतोष सर सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग और वी आर डूइंग विद द सी सेट थ्रू प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो वी आर इन द नंबर सिस्टम वी आर वी विल लुक इन टू द पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर विच हेज कम फ्रॉम दिस नंबर सिस्टम पोर्सन सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन विच बिलोंग्स टू सी सेट ट्वेंटी एंड द क्वेश्चन रीड्स लाइक दिस कंसिडर द क्वेश्चन द टू स्टेटमेंट्स की वेन बिलो क्वेश्चन इज is x an integer the statement 1 is x by 3 is not an integer a statement 2 is 3x is an integer which one of the following is correct in with of the questions and the statements so these are the one two statements and the uh, the, the option says one is alone two is alone both is uh, sufficient to answer the question so we have to just prove that uh, this statement can otherwise be uh, right or wrong right so we have to just put the statement in opposite direction like statement 1 says statement 1 says x by 3 is not an integer so first we have to know all these things the concept behind integer and whole number theek okay, hai so integer is the one which is a whole number whole number it, it it cannot be fraction right so this is the basic concept however we are so just solving the question so we have to just prove that the statement 1 is wrong so how can we we can prove that the statement 1 is wrong if you put x is equals to x is equals to 6 so the moment i put x is equals to 6 so 6 by 3 is equals to 2 2 is a, a integer and the statement says it is not an integer that means the statement 1 is wrong the next statement is A statement two, which says three x is an integer, an integer. This says that three x is an integer. We have to prove it otherwise. If I put x is equals to one by two, the moment I put x is equals to one by two, this this becomes three by two, and three by two is not an integer, not an integer. We have said that integer is one which is whole thing. right which cannot be in the fraction so it is not an integer that means this statement can is proved otherwise this is a wrong statement this is a wrong statement that means the answer is both statement 1 and 2 are not sufficient to answer the questions we cannot you know conclusively say that whether x is an integer or not so the option d is correct right this is how we solve the questions thank you very much